custom house. Up, Megan. New year, new you. Look at that. <laughs> better heat up times, better, more consistent mash temps, and uh, better boil performance. Ah, I mean, your attention. Yes, it's nice. You hooking up hoses? You can hook hoses up, up. throw grains in. Let's just throw some grains. Yeah, it's your world, man. We're just living in it. <laughs> Smell of a stout mashing might be one of my favorite things in the world. Oh, it's so nice. And then you add like the rye and you get a little like sweet action. All right, so beer. Rye, Irish stout. Rye, Irish stout. Came out of the mash, the mash maker book. It's uh, Michael Dawson. Where did Michael Dawson work? I think most people probably know him from early Brewing TV. And with Northern Brewer. With Northern Brewer. I know he's no, he's no longer with them as far as I know. I think he's with BSG yeah. now. Oh, I thought he worked for a yeast company. He did. But he worked for Y Yeast for a while. I think he's at BSG. I've brewed quite a few of his recipes over the years and I've always enjoyed them. So, so uh, Irish stout with a little bit of rye in it. Yeah, we used flaked rye instead of the uh, flaked barley you would normally use. We also added Maris Otter chocolate rye malt, mainly because they're out of roasted barley. We did half of that and half of black patent. We'll see what happens. Cool. You like rye. I love dry sure. Irish stout with some rye. And first beer of 2018. Way ahead of schedule for uh, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. There we go. That is Ooh. the bizarre ride to the far side right there. Looking good. <laughs> Smells awesome. Well, 60 minutes is up, my friend. Yeah. Oh man, what a great show. Yeah. I, <laughs> well, what, what do you want to do? Do you want to be the muscle or do you want to be the hook guy? You know, <laughs> spend some time out on the corner, man. I'll hook one off here for you. You'll be the hook guy? I'll be the yes. hook guy. Hook one. Am I doing it right? Nope. Doing it wrong. Dude, look at this guy. Hey, doing it wrong. Still doing it wrong. Can't get it red. Hook this guy. Is, okay. They say it's like red in a bike. Hooking one off. Oh, nice. There you go. Uh oh. There we go. All right. A heroic effort. Yeah. Wow. Man, hook guy almost got fired. <laughs> yeah. While well, it's draining, I always just like to uh, pump it up to 100. percent And I'm gonna steal a little. Pre-boiled gravity sample. Did Andy Rooney die? Oh, no way. No, did he? I don't know. Probably not. Probably. He's got to be alive. I feel like. Andy Rooney, if you're still alive, let us know. Feel free to respond. Empty the old hoses. Dude, Emmett. Finally oh, figured it out. We're, we're all on track for a zero spill day wow. right now. We are on track, dude. This could be a good 2018. 2018. Good Crisp year. and clean 2018. These little drips right here. That's what you call a drip. That's not what you call a spill. Maybe we should do a um, comparison of 2017 versus 2018 goals. Okay, 2017. Sort out, junk, and shed. 2018, file insurance claim on... For burnt um, shed. Burnt shed. <laughs> New Year's resolutions are always... A funny thing. Slippery slopes, man. New Year's resolutions, um, get this year. Yeah. Make some kombucha. Make some crafts. That might be my kombucha. Make some cheese and kombucha is mine. What? Make some cheese. Yeah. Really? How about that, man? That's not bad. That's I want to make some bad. cheese. I want to age some funky cheese. Dude, funky cheeses. 
feel like people try to get too like holistic yeah. or esoteric with resolutions like there are these broad statements that are made that affect you at like a operating system level where it's just like I want to do a thing and I'm and then I have do fun it. doing it and then and then the resolution is like complete check the box on the new year's resolution it's good. done it's not like I'm going create more positivity in my like life sphere it's like the, how do you measure it it's an impossible metric to What's your baseline of positivity now? And how do you... What are the units? To measure the growth. Yeah. Or... Positive minus, meters? Minus yeah. Growth. Like, negatons? Like, what do you... Yeah. How do you... What know, are we measuring? What, what are, are we using? You, what are we using? Is this metric? Like... Now you're at that. Yeah. It's like, you want to make some cheese? It's like, yo. Make I got the cheese. dairy. I got the salt. I got, I got some milk. Let's do it. I got a cave. Right. Yeah. It's a wheel of cheese. We got systems and water yeah, and yeah. milk. You gotta be realistic. You gotta be realistic. You know, like uh, 2017, I'm gonna learn to love myself. 2018, I'm just going to. Just go make some cheese. <laughs> make some cheese. <laughs> yeah. Make uh -huh. some cheese. Some kombucha. Uh, get my van running. Get that's, that van running. Key. Yeah. Should we thing. pull the grain basket out? Yeah, let's do that right quick and then pop the lid on that. Get, 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 get it up to boil. Oh. I should look it up in like planetary. Oops, were you catching that? Oh, what's, our, uh, what's our liquid level in there? What, uh, for us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We lose much at all. Is there like a mark? Yeah. It's on the inside. Here. We lost a gallon, just a tiny bit more than a gallon. So we had like 6.8, you think, in there? Uh. If you were to be a guessing man. Yeah, I would say 6.8. It was a really, really good guess. Now we're shooting for 1038 pre boil gravity. What I say we're looking for? 1038. We are 1038. We are? We are 1038. So we're coming up to, uh, coming up to our boil here. It, our boiling temp's around 208, and we'll be tossing in an ounce of. Northern Brewer at that time. A lot of folks ask about boiling five full five gallon batches um, in our kettles using only 1,650 watts. Um, which, which is the max you can run in a, on a 110 volt. On a 15 circuit. amp, on a 15 uh, amp. 15 amp circuit, 110 volt, 1,650 is the max. Household yeah. level. Yeah. Yeah, so Standard. a lot of folks yeah. are limited by that. Mm -hmm. It works well. You just have to be aware that it's going to take a little bit longer, and there's some tricks that work really well. Yeah. Insulation yeah. is your friend. Yeah. Um, we have insulation on the bottom, too, which is a must because otherwise all that heat it's going to disperse right like a heat the table. Yeah, yeah. Totally. If we didn't have the insulation earlier, this table gets super, super. hot. Like yeah. the whole thing gets up. So it's just wasting all that energy. Right. The other thing is, as it comes up to a boil, I leave the lid completely on. Mm -hmm. And then once it starts boiling, I basically just move it a little bit, just a little bit of a crack. And that keeps a good roaring, rolling, roaring, rolling boil. Yeah. Yeah. And then... I've never had issues with DMS, any of that stuff. You've tasted our beers. Yeah. You know, it's it's one of those things you read about it. People are like, you need to have the lid off. But at the end of the day, if you're trying to do five-gallon batches and you're limited, crack the lid. It yeah. works. You know, like, it's just one of those things. But really, essentially, if you just pop this, this guy this, in, this is the key. it holds up enough to, to release. Just to let to let the vapors. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah, so where are we at right now? We're at 208, so... We're up to a little gentle boil. I'm gonna go ahead and add the uh, the hot basket. So you want to toss these anyway, bad boys in? Yeah, they smell great. But there's a, we got a good boil going, so you can see. I mean, yeah. it's a plenty vigorous boil. You can just top them on in. I'll just set the timer for sixty. Or when do you, how how long do you want to recirculate in the uh, work chiller? Probably just ten minutes. Okay, so I'll set it I'll set it for forty five minutes. We'll add a Warflock tablet and then get everything hooked up and then. Yeah. We'll have about 10 minutes. We've we've upped our sanitation re and cleaning regimen to yeah. around here, Ross. Dude, smart. Have. So non non New Year's based resolution, just a general be better every day resolution. Uh -huh. Wash your hands after you go to the bathroom. Yeah. Smart, yeah. I'll give you two reasons to wash your hands after going to the bathroom. High fives. Number one and number two. 
Oh, hey, yeah. 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 That's it. So, okay. I'm a dad. We're about 15 minutes left. Just gotta toss some more flat tablet in. Woo! Got ourselves a healthy boy on there, boys and girls. So, we'll let that do its thing. And then, uh, I'm just gonna hook the hoses up. I always like to uh, circulate the boiling wort through the. Quite chilly? Yeah, for mm -hmm. 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Try to do its thing. Yeah, just sanitize it. Mm -hmm. These things, we clean them out really well. You really. You have to clean. You gotta. You, you have to be pretty diligent. The about best thing to do is. Those things. This is where you're gonna pick up some gunk. This is oh. where you're gonna get sugar, they work syrupy wort. You're gonna get hot matter. They work money. great. I, I prefer those much to the big, bulky, yeah. uh, awkward, um, coil yeah, uh, the, immersion chillers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, best thing to do is when you're done during the day, clean your kettle, fill it with PBW, recirculate through your pump and this for like an hour, mm -hmm. and then go in both holes. You wanna switch it up, you wanna go in the out. It's reverse your, direction. Your reverse flushing. Yeah. So you wanna make sure you hit both holes otherwise stuff gets stuck in the crevices and then that's where you're gonna get some funky ground yeah, that you totally. don't want there's a bunch of sugars just sitting in it all coagulating and like you'll see like fucking if you get hot debris in there you see like just gum mm -hmm. coming out yeah, coming out. yeah. that's crazy i think even just leaving it sit for, but it's so for me i yeah. mean you leave it sit overnight and then come back and give it a final final flush, flush. yeah our our new regiment is do the recycling mm -hmm. flush through both directions every time after every brew day. Keeping it to that baseline speed. of sterilization. Yeah, totally. That's your New Year's resolution. Card. Yes. Here's my problem, man. I have two. I have two conflicting resolutions. Number one, I actually have three. Whoa. Number one, no resolutions. Okay. Number two, let's be more sterile and uh, cleaner than we have in the past. Number three. Read more, which sometimes includes reading books on the toilet while I'm taking a dump. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, those are conflicting. Yeah. All of those conflict. Definitely. 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 What, what am I going to do? I think I'm back to probably just sticking with number one. No resolutions. No resolutions. Fuck it. Did you put a new gasket on there? I'm using the other side we haven't used in a while. That's one of them's due for a new one. Yeah, this one right here. Yeah. Heat, the heat will uh, definitely kill your gaskets. The nice thing is, you can pick up like a 20 pack of Ace Hardware for like a dollar. Yeah, 15 cents. Yeah, they're, they're super cheap. It's best to kind of like have that thing on the side, uh, on its side. You ready to circulate? Yeah, go for it. The pump is really quiet. Yeah, they're really nice. So, we're gonna let that do its thing. Yeah. We're gonna kill the heat. Yeah, we're, we're getting behind schedule here on the, on the old brew day. Kill the heat. Business pay room, I'm gonna move these out of the way. Yeah. Five, five and a half, probably. This has been a no spill brew day so far. Stop talking about it. We're on a, actually fourth tasting. Yeah. At what time is it? 3.30? Fatigue is setting in. I did eat a hearty breakfast prior to coming, so I have a good base going on. What is our level of liquid there? Anybody see that? We're supposed to have 6.04 gallons. I would say like 6.1. Zero. Once we take that hot basket out too, it'll drop. Yeah, 6.10. Oh, so right, yeah, so right on. On. we're probably dead on. Sweet, sweet, sweet. sweet. What kind of yeast do you want to use, Kyle? Well, uh, I would, I'm going to say whatever you buy. I know. I also forgot to take it out of the fridge. By the time it cools down, yeah. we'll be fine. We didn't have time to make a yeast starter. San Diego super yeast. Yeah, it's a clean fermenter. Shouldn't leave a lot of esters. And that's that's what the old recipe called for, is just a clean American ferment and yeast. Hmm. Well, you just that in your back pocket. I did. I'm gonna warm it up. So this is a low ester producing strain that results in a balanced neutral flavor and aroma profile. That Very versatile for a wide variety of styles. Similar to California Ale Yeast, WLP001, but it generally <laughs> ferments a little faster. The grain bill is the main event here. You're not using right. like a funky hop varietal with a bunch of crazy hoppy flavors. Yeah. Um, you're not using a yeast that's going to produce a bunch of crazy esters during fermentation. It's like these good dark roasted malts, a couple of different styles, and then those that grain adjunct, your rye, is going to give it those that cool sort of rye sweetness, that mouthfeel cream action from the rye. 
all of those different caramely chocolatey flavors from your specialty roasted malts. You, you want know, those to shine. You want those yeah. to shine. Those are the start of the, yeah. start of the show. I feel like then at this point, what I've just taken from what you both said was that a better name for this beer than Ride Irish Stout would be the main event. <laughs> the main event, yeah. Or the star of the show. The star of the show. The star of the show. I feel like. The main event has a good sort of boxing card title fight in the fine Irish tradition of Amsterdam, welcome to yeah. New York, Bill the Butcher, you know, the yeah. Irish in the New World, same old problems, gotta drink something to dull the pain. What are you trying to ferment at here? 65 to 67. It's yeah, about 60. 60. Okay, cool. It's not bad. You got that yeast in your back pocket? I did. You you set it up. Oh! I'm just happy to see you. Hey, yo, quick draw. What were we shooting for again? I'm at 60. Like 65. We're about half in, man, so. What's our liquid level in that bucket? Five, five and a half, probably. Five and a half, you say. But that's what we're shooting for. Boom. Scissors. Knife? Yeah, I don't know, like, what you butchered with that knife. Only squirrels. Yeah, buddy. Itchy one of them. We we're gonna, little pig. You wanna toss two of these in there since we didn't make a starter? Dose. Whatever, man. Dose What's the gravity, I mean. Gravity range 10, 5 gallons 1050 to 1065. So, where are we at? 1040. We don't take a reading, but I'm hoping around 1046. Then we probably don't need another package. But hey, whatever you want, man. If you want to double it up, then that. We're DNA. Sometimes it's not a bad idea. I mean, 20, you know. 2018, you got to double it up. I'd rather have a little more healthy yeast than less. I think her over pitching is a. Uh, it, can, it is a concern. It's like, yeah, it's a lot of yeast. I think you have to like yeast. yeast. Yeah, really. Have yeah. you used this particular Y Labs yeast before? I have not. No. Yeah. Already sort of vacuum sealed in the thing. Oh, that, that kind of pitch? Yeah. yeah. They switched to that because they're having issues, I think, with the other style. Ah, uh, interesting. Can you need a hand? It's never coming off. A little corner. Which right one? There. This one right here? Yeah. There, there she goes. Come on. There she is. I'm, yeah. so, I'm so proud of you guys. It's on. Five gallons of beer. It's going to be a great 2018. Well, let's, uh, let's take a final grab of this guy. There's enough in the kettle that we can get a little rain out. Oh, yeah. How long does he say he uh, ferments this for? I don't know. Seven to ten days. Aim for maximum temp in the mid 60s. Rest in primary for a couple three days after final gravity is reached. And just under 1040. Really? We're that low? It looks what like here. Like our target's what, 1046? Yeah. We're way low. Not way low, but low. Just a little low on that. Which is weird because we had our boil off rate. Yeah. That's, I mean, right on. Yeah. So we're a little low. That is. Yeah. We were shooting for 1045. 46. Yeah. I figure that out. Wrap my head around that one. I might just have some weird in Beersmith that's just affecting the numbers that you want to see yeah. versus the numbers that we have. That we're getting. Yeah. We have a little more liquid, I think. We're definitely over on our liquid, which would be, yeah, I think that's the problem. Is that the boil just didn't boil off enough to have that density that you want to see? So we start with 6.9 gallons mm -hmm. and it boiled off to 6.9. One zero gallon, so that's probably it. Just adjust the boil off rate by 0.2. I guess like fermentation will dictate what yeah. the actual beer is yeah, going to do at the end. Yeah, it should finish around 10.09, mm -hmm. 10.10. So I mean, it'll still be, it'll be good. I'm not yeah. worried about it. It'll be five percent below the five. Maybe. Well, hey guys, uh, we brewed five gallons of Ride Irish Stout. First batch of beer, 2018. 2018. In the books. Congratulations, guys. So uh, I'm going to toss this in the, the old ferment and freezer. I'm ready to do 64 to 66. Temperature. Yeah, it's yeah. an eel. Yeah, so we're between 62 and 64 right now, so mm -hmm. we should be good to go. You got it. <laughs> oh, you golly. Got it. I personally like buckets a lot more than the carboys. Than the carboys? Yeah. Why's, why's come? got a handle they're easy to clean if you yeah drop that's it. true i don't know 
it doesn't turn into not a bucket anymore. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, this front chest freezer is useless. Duh. I'm swap one of these into there. Yeah, that sounds good. We should um, put a collar on that. That's true. That's true, yeah. This was a more or less a free freezer. Teamwork, don't see them work. I think we should look into the uh, squirrel tartare. I feel like it's too tough. I feel like a squirrel chili. Mixed rodent chili squirrel hair. You're not doing like a... Unless you are, unless you've got the means to prepare the squirrel. What, you know, some sort of... Viking range, funky convection oven. You could. You need. A, you have to have. Viking you gotta have. Yeah. I don't know. What, mess or up. Or a baby. stick. Go Vikes. Um, yeah. A piece of wood. That too. Over the fire. It depends on the squirrel you're going for. You sous vide the squirrel. You f yeah. process that. Yeah. Vacuum seal that. Ooh, drop it in a cooler with some more water. Sous vide some bitch. squirrel up in. Let's yeah. Up in some squirrel. Uh huh. Um, or steak. I'll I thought I'd do a steak. I'll definitely film that yeah. if you guys want to do that. Get some shallots. Ooh. Yeah, the, the, the fun flavors of Haywood Road. This is rich. <laughs> right here. All the food was sourced on it's Haywood. Local, yeah, local. I'm very, very local. It's a huge groundhog up the street. Whistlepig?